Hey guys, it's Gudger Guru HD here, and in this video, I got you guys my uh, full hands on overview of the Cyanogenmon 10.1 nightly builds. Keep in mind, these are nightlies, so that means they are going to have the same customization as, say, a milestone, and also the same fluidness and just the overall feel of a, da of a daily driver. So, I wouldn't consider this ROM a daily driver yet just because it isn't as polished as a milestone. So one of my favorite parts about Cyanogen Mod is of course they give you the they keep the same fluidity and um, the same project butter feel that stock jelly bean gives you while still giving you a level of customization. And that's the major difference I think between AOKP. AOKP is a uh, Gives you a ton of customization, but not the same fluidness as Cyanogen Mod. So right here, um, when you go into settings and about phone, you get to see Cyanogen Mod updates. So that way, you can check for updates uh, daily. So if you like to continuously update your phone to the latest ROM, which um, I definitely recommend doing, especially if it's uh, nightly builds, um, they hopefully and usually do get uh, better each time you can uh, automatically get updates that's the issue with me um, I'll be stuck on the same nightly build for like a, two weeks so when they already have a milestone out or something like that so um, I also think that's great now let's get into uh, customization so like always we have interface right here and they have their own launcher um, now I think it's pretty similar to Nova launcher I mean a lot, most of the launchers are about the same, but this gives you um, the basic features as the same basic features as Nova Launcher. So we, of course, we got grid size. I uh, generally use six by four, uh, and number of home screens. Basic stuff. There isn't anything um, revolutionary in this ROM that we would see in uh, just in general. Of course, this is uh, great since these are nightly builds and the phone literally came out several weeks ago. And um, it's still like on back order for like seven weeks or something like that on the Play Store. Of course, they'll have uh, updated themes as time goes on. Power menu is definitely cool. So when you hold down the power button, you generally only see power off, reboot, and airplane mode. And then these bottom three, if I remember correctly, on stock. But give, this gives you the option of uh, taking a screenshot, a bunch of other stuff that um, is just really convenient. There are a bunch of really cool features that they have. Oh, here it is. So I have slider shortcuts. So say I want this right here to be uh, settings, a settings shortcut to uh, Wi-Fi. So now when I go here, I see my settings. This is really convenient if... Um, a lot of times I lock my phone, I power or I unlock it, go to my text, check my text. I do it like 10 times, just locking and unlocking the phone. Most of you guys will get what I'm saying. It's just uh, cool little features like that that uh, give this ROM a nice Cyanogen Mod feel. And of course we have these Cyanogen Mod wallpapers with the cool new Cyanogen Mod logo. So. That has basically been the overview of the Cyanogen Mod uh, ROM. It of course does have Google Now, things like that, and overall a very polished ROM. Yet I wouldn't consider, uh, I wouldn't consider any of these nightlies a daily driver, just because I wouldn't want to recommend something that could possibly crash on you guys or something like that. So again, overall a very polished ROM. And I will continue to update you guys with uh, once builds come out and things like that. And if they come out with uh, anything ex extra cool like soft key colors or something like that, like we all know that they will, I will definitely keep you updated on that. Okay, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out my case reviews, accessories, things like that. And also be sure to check out my how to install the CM 10.1 ROM, which I should be uploading right before this. So again, remember to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Just hit 500 subs, so I want to thank you guys again, and I will catch you guys in the next video.